Hi guys, it's John A and welcome back to J Heart Loves Books. I've been gone for over a month and things just happened. <laughs> I was getting ready to record and film and upload so many things but so much stuff went on in November good and well not bad but good and challenging I went to y'all fest that was good that was amazing because I met two of my closest friends in real life which was awesome and we did record a video so I'm gonna upload it I don't know how long it's gonna stay up but I will upload it but um, yes I met them and then after that after y'all fest I got sick and when I'm sick I don't do anything but lay in my bed and have on Netflix and try to feel better so that's what happened and then also I had to take my SATs in very early December it was actually on my birthday December 3rd and yeah, so I had a lot going on in November and time just flew and the next thing I knew I didn't upload a video in a month. But I'm back and surprise, surprise, I have a book haul and an unboxing. So, and a few other bookish things that I did receive in November that I can't wait to show you guys. So let's hop into it. So the first book we have is Something in Between by Melissa De La Cruz. I got this at Y'all Fest and Harlequin Teen was amazing because while we were waiting in line at 11 o'clock they had this thing called um, a blind book date. We only had to answer a few questions and they set us up um, with a book that matched our answers and of course I got a contemporary. You guys all know what this is about because it's been the rage on booktube and bookstagram for like the whole month of November. I could not go anywhere without seeing this book. Basically, it dives into diversity and immigration, things of that nature. You haven't heard about this book. I'm very surprised, but I can't wait to get into it. And it's so pretty. And yeah, I'm excited. So that was awesome. And then the next book I got at Y'all Fest at Harlequin Teen is first life and basically what was going on me and my friend Eden we were in the line to meet Victoria Aveyard and they were having this like um trivia thing and the question was what's another way to say the 75th Hunger Games I was like quarter quill and the lady looked at me she's like yep that's right and she handed me this book and I was just like oh okay and I did hear about this book it um, came out last year and I think the sequel is coming up and that's why they're like hyping it up more but basically it was about um, basically your first life is just ordinary but when you die that's actually when your life happens and that's all I know about this book but I'm very excited I hear it's a really good dystopian and I can't wait to dive in so that was fun the next book I got is Frozen by Melissa De La Cruz and Michael Johnston. My best friend got me this book. She's like, I was in the bookstore. And this is one of her favorite books. And she's like, I was in the bookstore. I saw it and I had to get it for you because it's my favorite book. She said, I shouldn't read the synopsis and it's best to go in blind. So I don't know what this is about. <laughs> and I haven't heard of it. And I didn't even know Melissa De La Cruz like collaborated with somebody else to make this book yeah but it's book one it's called Frozen and yeah the cover's nice and that's cool and I'm so happy my best friend thought of me when she went to a bookstore but yeah so another book I got and a book I got because I was going to y'all fist is the diabolic and I was hoping in some crazy way shape or form I would be able to meet S. Jay Kincaid but I did it and that kind of sucks but I got the book and I got this at Walmart and basically the diabolic is another huge hit if you did not hear about it in November I have no idea where you've been because it was another book in November people were just hyping it up basically a diabolic is um, assigned to protect somebody it's made to protect people and this diabolic's name is nemesis and basically she has to take care of this very important girl but in order to make sure she She's like taken care of she has to become her because she gets kidnapped and all sorts of craziness but I've heard nothing but great things about this book so I'm really excited to dive into it the next two books I got from authors and I just want to say thank you for Jennifer um, Kelly for sending me her books and um, it's an arc of the second book and it's the earth 
key and I'm so excited because I've been reading the Army of Fire and I'm going to have a review up um, coming up and I'm so excited because just everything about like this series and how she's doing it just it's amazing and I don't want to tell you what this is about but Army of Fire basically the thing is the sun died so we live on this humans just live on this other planet but when living in this other planet they develop like the elements abilities and basically when you graduate school and it's basically graduating high school you have to pick an element between fire earth Ocean. <laughs> I stuttered so bad. Ocean, fire, earth, ocean, metal, and um, wood. Or is that the same thing? Is it's something else? It's five elements. I'm gonna be kicking myself for this. But anyway, basically, you choose out of those five, and that's um, basically a life commitment. After you choose um, out of the five, you go to college to study it. You actually your body and your physical features represents your element and it's really cool and how she displayed it is amazing but yeah this is the second book and it comes out um december 6th so if you guys want to hop on to this series i do recommend it start of course with the army of fire which is already out and i'll link where you can find it down below but thank you jennifer she's been such a sweetheart and it's been amazing working with her and i love her books and the next book i got was from dallas Corell. he actually DM'd me asking me if I would like a copy of his book and it's a contemporary. I sort of kind of know what it's about but I didn't really want to know too much because with my contemporaries I like to go in blind sometimes or I just like to read the synopsis and fall in love already. But this is Melody Keys, Melody's Key and what I got from the synopsis is just like something happened to this girl but then she meets a guy and then he's basically helping her through whatever she just went through and it's just a very like I heard it's a very good love story and the way he described it I just I couldn't I had to do it I had to get myself a copy so thank you Dallas for sending me your book and I can't wait to dive into it all right, the next part of this video is going to be the unboxing. I have two bookcase boxes, bookcase club boxes, and um, one owl crate, so I'm excited. I'm going to start with the bookcase club boxes because they basically just focus on books, and I'll save the owl crate for last. So let's hop into it. So bookcase club, I worked for them in October, and they sent me their... Um, booking for a romance box and that's basically the romance box basically with bookcase club um, their prices start at $9.99 and you get to choose what whatever genre they have to offer it's over nine genres and I chose um, the fantasy and no yes I chose fantasy or science fiction it was one of the two I'm pretty sure it was fantasy but I chose fantasy and romance and I was only expecting to get the um fantasy one but they sent me a, the November romance so thank you so much but yeah the prices start at $9.99 you get to choose your genre it comes with two books and I do have a discount code and I'll leave that down below for 15% off and I love working with this company. They're so amazing and friendly. And they just started a kids club. So they have one for kids now too. So if you have a little one in your life or you have a niece, a sister, or whatever, a brother, um, you can get them one too if they enjoy reading. So let's start it. Um, I opened them already. I know what's inside, but I don't know which one I just picked up. So I'm going to show you it. And I love how big this is. And it's so pretty. So... Oh, this one is the science fantasy. I'm pretty sure it's fantasy. I want to say it's fantasy. We're going to go with fantasy. <laughs> so this is the card they sent. And basically it says, I don't think of all the misery, but of the beauty that still remains. And that's Anne Frank from Diary of a Young Girl. And yeah, it's so pretty. So this one is A Darkling Sea by James L. Cambus. Cambius. And I read the synopsis like twice and I I know what it's about but then I don't know but I'm going to explain this to the best of my ability so basically I think underground like under um, ice like the water inside the ocean there's this um, the alien and another race of aliens or something like that 
and um, we got permission, like the humans got special permission to go like deep, um, go undersea to do a mission there and then other things happen and I think they almost start like a war. they don't start a war but they like find out like different kind types of things about these um, creatures and animals and yeah and there's almost a war that gets broken out because of it and yeah it sounds really good I know that wasn't the best explanation but when I tell you I have tried to understand this synopsis I have tried but I just I did it I couldn't explain it well I understand it but I can't explain it if that makes sense and then the next book has another alienish vibe and this is MC Plancock oh this is by MC Plancock and this is the Cassis um, Gambit and yeah, this is another thing about aliens and humanity and how we think we're the only ones on this universe, but then we find aliens. So they both give off an alienish vibe. And I feel like out of these two, I think I would enjoy this one more because I do like the ocean and um, deep sea diving is like something I'm really fascinated with, even though I've never done it before. But I think it's a very cool hobby and concept. But I think I like both. So thank you, Bookcase Club, for sending me this. And like I said, I'm so sorry for not being able to explain these books better to you. I would if I could. And then the next one is the romance one. And I'm excited. So basically we get the same card that we got in the last one, but it like has something inside. It says, Happy Thanksgiving. We hope your holidays are filled with warmth, food, and family, along with the time to enjoy these things with all the hustle and bustle of the season. Be sure to set aside some time and dive in to our latest book selections. Yay! I love this company so much. They're so sweet. Okay, and we got this. And the funny thing about this that this box came before I went to y'all fest and I already planned on meeting Jennifer E. Smith because I had one of her books already. I had the same book as this one actually and I took both with me and I got them personally signed one for me and one for my friend Eden so I gave one to her but yeah this is so cool I know what this is about completely basically there is a blackout and these um to this boy and this girl get stuck in an elevator and they fall in love and then like one moves and they're trying to do this long distance relationship thing and it's so sweet and contemporary and young adult and I love me some romances but yeah Jennifer E. Smith was so fun and she was so sweet and so nice so I'm happy I got to meet her even though I haven't read this book yet but I'm really excited and then the next book gives me Christmas vibes and that is A Gift to Remember by Melissa Hill and this is basically about the girl's name is Darcy and she works at a bookstore in Manhattan so she's a book lover so it's always nice to read about your own kind and um, she bumps into this guy while he's walking and his dog and he slips and he gets a concussion and she feels guilty so she takes care of his dog and she thinks she's falling for him even though he's in a concussion and she thinks he might be the one and hopefully when he wakes up he's the exact same person she thinks she he is it sounds like it sounds like a hallmark movie and i love hallmark movie especially like the gushy christmasy kind so i can't wait to pick this up and i'm probably going to pick this up in december because my best friend is reading it and we might buddy read it together but yeah so thank you bookcase club it was always so much fun to do your unboxings and yeah thank you so much and the last one we have is the november owl crate and it was Wonderland and we all know what book it was but this one it was extra special I've already opened it if you follow me on Instagram you've seen the post the unboxing post the gushing the blushing the whole nine yards and you've probably seen other people's unboxings but I still want to do it too but yeah this was like this is one of my favorites it's in my top favorites like my top favorites are the September one when it had three dark crowns and this one. I adored this one. So I'm just going to show you. Fuzzies. I keep the fuzzies. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> 
but yeah so let's get started so of course we have the trading card and it's Alice falling it has owl crates around it and has an owl crate box right here and it actually has a necklace of Eleanor and Park that we got in the August box and it has like the typewriter from when they had writer's block and um let's see what else do they have and of course they have like a cards and a book and just it's so it's so wonderland and I love it and the thing we got I still gush over this box even though I've seen it a million times we got tea and this was specially we got tea <laughs> I'm sorry I thought I had it upside down but yeah we got tea and it was specially made by um riddle shop and a doggy how do you say it um a doggy I think so a doggy tea I'm sorry if I butchered that company's name but yeah but we got 15 individual packs and it smells amazing and I've drank some of it and I loved it and yeah it smells so good. I'm not good with smells. I don't know what's in it, but I know it tastes good, and that's all that matters. And we get this cute little tin, and I'm really excited about it. And yeah, that was cool. And then we got a bookmark from Author Order, Author Adornments. Okay, I always butcher that company's name, and I feel so bad. But it's a bookmark, and inside it says Curiouser and Curiouser something Alice something was so much surprise but yeah basically they take like pages from like old um books or whatever and then they put like a magnifying like glass thing to make it look bigger but it's so classic and so pretty and that's how you do the little bookmark thing and it looks so cute and I love it and the next thing we got I'm going to give you a little hint we got a bookmark from Rock Paperback Books, but not only did we get this pretty Alice in Wonderland, Alice's Adventures, excuse me, in Wonderland um, bookmark, but we got the book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I haven't read this book since I was seven or eight. I haven't read it in so long but having this beautiful like copy of it makes me want to pick it up and read it even more and it's so beautiful and pretty and it gives me such wonderland vibes it kind of reminds me of how like the first edition looks but more modernized and yeah it's really pretty and i love it okay and i think pretty sure that was everything that we got in there actually no it wasn't everything like I told you I opened this box before and um, we did get a magnet from Evie bookish and the magnet is so beautiful it's on my fridge right now and I forgot to grab it and I feel so bad but I love the magnet from Evie bookish um, the quote that I had on it was um, imagination is the um, greatest weapon against the war again oh my gosh imagination is the best weapon against the war of reality and basically the illustrations was of like the original illustrations of Alice in Wonderland it's so pretty and it's so beautiful and it's done by Evie Bookish and you guys should definitely check her out I'm so upset that I left that magnet on my refrigerator but c'est la vie and next we got well this is the letter from the author if you did not know or didn't understand that the um, book for this month was heartless and this is a letter by Marissa Myers and it's so cute and I love it and we also got this it looks like a coaster but they said it was just like a little quote card and it says sometimes your heart is the only thing worth listening to and I can't wait to find this in the um when I read heartless I can't wait to find this quote because I think this is really cute and it looks beautiful and I'm going to show you the reason why this month was a little different because everybody and their mother was doing like um heartless as their book of the month for their um subscription box so it was no surprise that they owl crate had to do something really special to make their stand out and uh, get the fuzzies off we got an exclusive cover of heartless minus the little fuzzies and this was actually created by Marissa Meyer so that's really cool that um she designed this and yeah you can't find this in stores it was exclusive to our crate subscribers and yeah but it still looks 
the same naked and I'm excited because I was like what if they change the nakedness of it <laughs> so yeah it's really like it's so pretty and beautiful and if you don't know this what's this about I seriously don't know where you've been either because this book has been hyped up even before it came out but this is about the Queen of Hearts before she became the lovely Queen of Hearts all Kath wanted to do was have a bake shop with her friend and just live her life but the king saw interest in her and of course everybody's pushing her to be with the king but then she meets with the new court um jester jace and things get a little carried away from there i can't wait to read this book and everybody said they loved it and it was so amazing and that it lived up to its height and yeah that's awesome and the last thing certainly but not least is the um, next month's box, December's box, is epic, and it's going to include stuff from Game of Thrones, Narnia, Harry Potter, so if that's any of your favorite fandoms, I would definitely check it out, and I'm a Narnia girl, so I can't wait to see what we get that's Narnia-based, and their, um, book of that month is going to be, um, very diverse. It's LB, LBTQ, and it's going to be a, a diverse read. So that's, I think, the perfect way to end 2016 with a diverse read. And also, something else I forgot to show you guys, but it's the little pin we get in Owl Crate that matches the trading card. And the pin was of Alice falling. It didn't show all of it, but it showed Alice and like a few of the other like little floaty things that are floating around her. I'm sorry I missed two things, but I was like in such a rush to do this unboxing slash book haul. It slipped my mind. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so sorry I've been gone for so long. And but I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and this book haul of November. December is probably not going to be any better. I'm not going to lie to you. My birthday's in December and then there's Christmas. So expect a video that's going to be probably 20 million years long next month. But yes, I hope you guys have a great day. And remember, always love your books. Bye!